Hello, everyone. I'm Natasha Fata, and you are watching CBC News Network. The slow march towards normalcy has begun for residents of Jasper, Alberta, who after three weeks are finally able to go back to their homes following the devastating wildfire in their community. And today, officials had some good news for them. The threat of further fire has now subsided, at least for the time being. Since the 22nd of July, Parks Canada and the municipality of Jasper continues unification has paved the road for re-entry, and we were pleased to welcome residents back into town yesterday. Firefighters continue to work around the 33,000 hectare blazes perimeter to keep Jasper a safe place. And today, all of their dedication, teamwork, and sacrifices paid off, and we are pleased to change the Jasper Wildfires Complex's fire status to being held. This means that the fire is not expected to spread in any priority areas based on current and expected weather and resourcing. Hundreds of residents were able to return to their homes starting yesterday, with more expected to come over the next few days. 25,000 residents and visitors were forced to flee last month. The fire that swept through the town destroyed more than 350 structures, almost a third of all the buildings in Jasper meaning those who are fortunate enough to still have their home standing might not even recognize the place they call home. CBC's Madeline Cummings has more from just outside of Jasper. Officials said that the status of the wildfire has changed. As of today, the fire is now being held or contained. When a wildfire is described as being held or contained, what it means is there is a perimeter and the wildfire is not expected to breach that perimeter. So very good news for the region today. This wildfire suspected to be started by lightning. Uh, multiple fires ended up merging within the Jasper National Park. We know that wildfire destroyed about a third of the town site, forcing thousands Thousands of people to leave their homes, to leave their backcountry campsites by helicopter. So to hear today that the status of the wildfire has changed, that's really good news for residents. And uh, officials also said that the next step is going to be classifying that fire as under control. They say we're not there yet, but that, that could be expected in the next few weeks. That's good news for the people who've been able to return home, those who are making that trip today. You've been able to speak to some of them. What are you hearing? Yes, we talked to some folks who were able to go into Jasper yesterday and, and look at the destruction there. Um, in terms of how many people have been able to do that, we don't yet have hard numbers, but officials said today that gas was reconnected for between 330 and 350 homes and between 500 and 700 people visited the welcome center that was set up in Jasper. We spoke with someone from the Red Cross who was spending most of the day yesterday at that center watching people reunite. We know people were dispersed across Alberta and British Columbia for three weeks now. So for many, this was a chance to see their neighbors for the first time in so long, give them a hug, um, comfort each other. And uh, here's what Melanie Solaire from Red Cross told us about witnessing some of those interactions. What we find is there's a lot of um, reuniting moments. So as you know from the evacuation in Jasper, many people were displaced across the province. And so you're seeing people come to the um, reentry support center on their bikes or walking with their families and with their dogs. People literally hugging, you know, across on the bikes, big reunion moments. A lot of people returning yesterday, officials said, lived in the more unaffected areas of town. So they said people who's, who may have lost their homes um, may be waiting a couple of days before they come back. We are seeing vehicles headed into the park this morning. Could be residents, could be people just driving through the national park. But um, for some people, they might need a couple of days uh, before they decide to go back in. CBC's Madeline Cummings reporting from just outside of Jasper, Alberta.